Hello, and welcome back to my podcast channel, Bridezilla on a Budget, Episode 3, titled Stationary Secrets. If you have been following in the past week, you are well aware that this segment is focused on budgeting for a wedding, and it is time to learn about the stationary aspect of wedding planning and how to save money or budget accordingly for this category. So if you haven't already, get out a pen and paper and jot down some handy notes. This is how we cut costs without cutting corners. First, let's just talk about how much stationery is needed for a wedding. I can remember the day when I started thinking about planning my wedding and how many people told me that stationery aspects cost a fairly large amount. I chuckled, how could that be? I just had invites and save the dates, right? Well, then I was lucky enough to have my maid of honor buy me a handy book titled The Very Best Wedding Planner Organizer and Keepsake that shared a budget organizer which was the first thing I looked at to see how long the list was for stationery. Before I get ahead of myself, let me inform you of what is expected at a wedding in a stationery category. On my budget organizer, it states that you will need invitations, save the dates, response cards, reception cards, ceremony cards, pew cards, setting and place cards, rain cards, maps, ceremony program, announcements, thank you notes, stamps, calligraphy, and napkins or matchbooks. Now this is one of the longest categories in my budget organizer template. So as a bride and groom, how do you cut costs without cutting corners? Well, I'm here to tell you some great advice and tips along with four steps to get you started. There are some things that are optional, such as pew cards, calligraphy, napkins, and rain cards. But for some tips on how to stay to a budget with the other necessities are coming now. Step one, create a free website at thenot.com. The reason I advise you to do this as your first step is because it can cut a lot of costs down and by having a free website. Let me remind you, it is free. For an example, you can eliminate response cards by having a section on your website dedica dedicated to RSVP. Another thing to incorporate in your website is location, transportation, accommodation, this way, there is no need for an information card. You will put all that information, including your rain plan, which is typically on a separate rain card, in addition to a map, all on your wedding website. Step two, visit VistaPlans. I have personally searched from website to website, trying to figure out what would be the best option for invitations and save the dates, especially for my wallet. And by far, VistaPrint has some great deals. Not only are their, their invites include envelopes, but you can purchase other items like return labels and much more. They all look great. Personally, I went with the magnetic ones so my guests can place it on their refrigerator. Plus, Vistaprint always has specials going on, and if they don't the day you look, wait a day or two. They will. Step three, buy a printer if you don't have one already. There are so many reasons as to why you can benefit from having a printer during wedding planning. But for specifically stationary, you can print everything on your own too. So if you don't want to buy off Vistaprint or other websites or even in the store, then you can print them yourself. Although professional invitations are still the norm, it is your wedding, so you can decide. It all depends on the price point that you that will determine if you have if you will save money. But if you decide to purchase your invitations, then use the printer for other things like the ceremony program. These can be very fun to do with all the templates that are available on Word. You can choose color ink or black ink, but overall you will save money if you decide to print your own programs. You can also print place or seating cards if your wedding has assigned seating. Step four, the last step to stationery is hire a photography. I know this might seem out of place since we are talking about stationery, but if you find the right photography, the package you choose most likely will include thank you cards and print credit. This means that at your wedding, you will pose for a picture for your thank you cards. But what if the package only includes 50 thank you cards and you need 100? Well, that is why it's so awesome that the package also includes print credit. This way, you'll be able to use some of the print credit towards the rest of your thank you cards, and it will already be part of the photography package. Now, there is no need to special order your thank you cards or worry about placing an order for them after your wedding because your photographer will already be preparing them for you. 
So, as you can see, there is so much more to stationery than just invitations. But now that you have explained, now that I have explained what is expected and gave you some tips, advice, and steps to get you going and started, you should be able to stay on budget better. And with the average price of weddings to continue, that we continue to grow, it is important to cut costs while cutting corners.